Tien? Sure did. Listen up. So, just go to the place I told you about, and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me. I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. myself just a little bit more I should be able to turn into a super saiyan I see you're hard at work as always Vegeta what do you want I've made some slight modifications to the training room would you like to see what I came up with oh go on then show me what you've done I knew you'd be interested come with me She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Hello. 
Um, goodbye. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. stronger now that they've been training. I have no idea what to expect with these androids, but I really want to test my moves on them. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I need her eyes. Let's do this! But I did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off! <laughs> It's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry. Here! And... So, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, 
as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. in the city is it the androids could be but there's no way to tell from here hey what gives i couldn't sense their power at all Th that's it they're androids which means we can't sense their energy you're kidding right where could they be if we can't sniff them out then we're just gonna have to hunt them down all right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who are caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Krillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? If it's me you're after, then show your faces already! Tianxian, huh? Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's got to be some place we haven't thought to look. Maybe one of the other guys found them. Where are you? Come on, show yourselves! Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha. Y Yamcha! Yamcha still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tie, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! Names. Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But they know about all of us as well. Here, Yamcha. I hope he's okay. 
That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giraud is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Well, then, what do you say? Let's see what he's got. Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. He absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! <clears throat> absorb the attacks? <clears throat> Give me a break. <clears throat> what what's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man! I'm, I'm not doing so hot! What's going on? If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me! Not some junk puppets like you! 
Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Go on! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The heart virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this! I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplify Android Terror. That 
android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely... Hey, Tien, got anything? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. Well now, this could be fun. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. Well now, I'll make quick work of you. Don't kid yourself, you could never beat me. Vegeta, have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. I'll make quick work of you. So that's all, huh? Gohan, you find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Hmm. Well now, this could be fun. Well now, this could be fun. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Go on. Android, get over here! Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead! <laughs> How did they find me? <laughs> Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. <laughs> Let me at him. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Taking your energy. I will eliminate. 
Aren't the androids I know? What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Androids 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you alright? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So... Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jiro. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what did they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman, and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Jero's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army. That's crazy. That settles the matter, then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. 
You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan too. Yet, I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? What did he mean? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. That's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay. Boma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan. Head back and take her with you, understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. Hurry, we gotta find that lab before the androids are activated. Looks like someone wants to die. You're ready for a real challenge. I'll make quick work of you. So if Android 17 and 18 are activated, do you think Vegeta will be able to take them out? Hard to say, honestly. Let's just hope he can scrap those two before they're activated. If this Dr. Jiro built a lab... He wasn't exactly a well-respected scientist. Surprise there. Androids 17 and 18, huh? I wonder if Vegeta's already run into them. <laughs> this Dr. Giro was working for the Red Ribbon Army? Well then, he's definitely not a good guy. Well, are we close to where the lab is? There it is, up ahead. <laughs> <laughs> What just happened? Uh, how dare you? I created you. You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. You hear that? It's an order, Seventeen. 
We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. Geezer. There's another one! What in the world is going on in there? Let's go! I feel a lot better now. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. So you're an earlier model. <clears throat> Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait. So, so those are the androids that Dr. Giraud was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least, I haven't seen him in my time. So, what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to the pile I'm going to make. Wait, where's Dr. Giraud? Oh, the old man? I took care of him. Uh. Hm. All right, let's go. Get going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giraud wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16. You were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Correct. Well, I guess that settles it then. But where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Jiro wanted, right? To kill Goku! I couldn't give a damn about that! How dare they! How dare they! There they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Kill Kakarot! Ha! Don't make me laugh! They're going to pay for not recognizing my power! Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. You Saiyans sure are full of yourselves, aren't you? That pride of yours. It's just gonna get you killed faster, you know. You've got quite the mouth on you for a machine. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow, what a letdown. Fine, I'll do it then. Vegeta! Are you all right? <laughs> so you came. You're really starting to piss me off. Vegeta and 18 are about to fight. So back off. What? Still, just watching isn't much fun. I guess... I could play with you guys. You know what that means. You and I won't be having any interruptions. <laughs> be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. Though so I guess since you're an android, you're not really a woman. Don't tell me. That wasn't the best you can do, was it? Of course not. <laughs> 
Shut the hell up! <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman! Now you've done it! Oh... I think it's time we end this little game. You're about done, right? Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But... aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. I think I'm going to need a new outfit. Sure, why not? Hey! Wait! Wait! Huh? What do you want? What is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, first, we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean, why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. I mean, Goku's the strongest guy around. Am I right? You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We were created for the sole purpose of eliminating Goku. You heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? They're gonna die. <laughs> See ya. Bye. <sighs> I gotta help the others. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win! Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, 
But if either of them die separately, well, then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so... Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. Overdo it, huh? <laughs> yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? Someone? Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi Chi. I'm pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine, and now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh yeah! You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good. All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is. Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did, did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giro tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, Seventeen. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Aw, oh, man. 
You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with a database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. Wait, this is... Yeah, it's definitely the time machine I came here in. But how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes. I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. Um, Tonks? Yeah? They look weak. No cause for concern. That looks like a tough enemy. Take you down! It's a mess! Get out of here! Get out of here! So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. 
Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. It looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Uh, uh. So that means this thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Uh, <sighs> wait, what's that? What's what? Oh, it's just... I was wondering what that is. Ah, what on earth is it? It's some sort of exoskeleton. Gross. An exoskeleton? Is it from some sort of mutant bug or something? I bet. That's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine. Right. It probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it. But how did it end up in this time period? Either someone placed the egg in the time machine, or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh hey! You guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here! You guys are going to be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, thanks. What? What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared, a town that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the future. Can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. That'll do.
Kami. I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Her I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion. The resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. Well, what of your resolve now? The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the Compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. Uh, Kami! I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there wreaking havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything, Mr. Popo. Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami nor Piccolo. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. If we don't do something about that monster, the Earth is finished. Ginger Town, huh? Alright, monster. You're in trouble. If 
feels weird to be reunited with my other half. But at the same time, it kind of feels... <sighs> Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> I can sense Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kinda glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. <laughs> You're more than welcome, Mitra. You're attacking people to achieve your perfect form? Indeed. I turn their essence into energy. And that energy makes me stronger. <laughs> Who sent you here? Who used the time machine for this? Tell me. Send me here. Why, that would be yours, truly. <clears throat> Just what the hell are you? Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. 
Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Trunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So <laughs> no! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. One of the huge power levels that showed up out of nowhere is gone now. I can't sense it, but the other one still remains. What, what, what is the meaning of this? Piccolo? Talk! What the hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here! Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him. Or we need to find Android 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. All right. Let's go, Trunks. Thanks. Go beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible?
I'm guessing we can't just go back into the past and scrap the androids there, right? Right. It's likely that anything we do in that timeline won't affect this one. Man, there's no easy way out of this, huh? You ready for a real challenge? And if we're able to destroy the androids and sell here, they're still going to exist in your future. Am I right? Yeah. But if Goku and the others can figure out their weaknesses here, I can go back to my future and defeat them myself. Your weaknesses, huh? Yeah, here's hoping. We'll figure something out. No one stands in the way of peace. They look weak. I'll win, you'll see. Now you know how powerful I am. Computer and cell are down there somewhere. I think this is it. Yeah. So, should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. Did it. Right. Now Cell won't be a problem in this timeline. And now we got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Androids 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, then I should too with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right. But sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. First two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. A monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! 
That cell creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. Oh, did everyone leave? Go on too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. I hope they're able to find that monster. <sighs> huh? If we approach Cell in this thing, we won't have to worry about him reading our power levels, don't you think? He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku! Yo! How did you get here? Was it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100% then? Yeah. But I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo! <laughs> You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that Cell guy. But I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait. No one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. Where do you think... Vegeta and Trunks are training. Let's see. I'm picking up some energy way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. 
pumped up and ready to go. Ah! 